कर्मा बनाए कर्मा कर्मा ही मिटाए कर्मा कर्मा बनाए कर्मा कर्मा ही मिटाए कर्मा जो भी तुम करो कल आज या कल जो भी तुम करो कल आज या कल बस मिलेगा हमें उसी का फल उसी का फल नमस्ते माय प्रेशियस फेलो सीकर्स दिस इज रोशनी शनाज एंड अ सोलफुल वेलकम to you all for our podcast zindagi rocks season 1 the karma series people are constantly searching for spiritual practices and beliefs related to karmic healing including rituals meditations and energy work aimed at resolving karma imbalances but how does this work and even if it does would you be overstepping someone's karma these are the two most common questions i get asked as an energy healing medium to that i always say negative actions might lead to kind of short term gains such as wealth or power fame or popularity however karma ensures that these gains are not lasting and that the eventual consequences will be proportionate to the deeds the biggest twist in that is the timing may be totally warped as per our limited understanding what i shared in the hindi couplet means that just as we know that every action has an equal and opposite reaction karmic healing works just like that to undo or unwind the so called bad sanskaras and karma we have to heal them through equal and opposite which is the seeming good karma now take for example a very common thing that i am seeing among so many clients suffering with it the energy of evil eye and psychic attacks the sanskaras of jealousy envy backbiting ill wishing by itself are extremely sticky and of lowest vibrations yet people are indulging into it like left right and center as if riding on a high horse when people who do wrong unto others do so out of their own misery they do not think whether this is going to land them into the valley of the you know the deepest uh, valley of life or it is going to take them onto a path where there will be a point of no return but yet in that unawareness they keep doing it but nothing goes unnoticed through the watchful eyes of karma especially with the current energies that humanity is passing through the ramifications and rewards both are at a much higher speed than ever before and larger chances of the seeming bad being brought to ground in this very time and space itself So if you have any such weeds growing then nip them in the bud else no sooner you will have to bear the thorns of that cactus plant In the next episode I shall share about some facets of karmic healing However it's essential to approach it with discernment and avoid any claims of definitely fixing or removing karma because it can be created but cannot be destroyed it can only and only be transmuted and converted through its equal and opposite intensity of intentions thoughts words and actions so in life we need to understand that any healing that takes place first of all is a format of regressing which means going behind or back in time whether that time is 1 day 100 days 
your childhood or even if it is your past life and everything that we are doing in this life is running simultaneously concurrently with the sanskaras that we have brought forward and what we are doing through our free will with those sanskaras is determining our path ahead to know more about life spirituality or seek guidance take coaching mentoring healing and other transformation sessions with me connect through my website roshnishanaz.com or through social media at the rate Roshni Shanaz. For speaker assignments and collaborations, email on info at the rate Roshni Shanaz.com. Until our next episode, live in complete awareness. Stay blessed always in Super Duper Godspeed. Love to you all. Chai Baba.